Hello and welcome to Sastronomical, the third in the series of uh, infinite videos that I'm probably going to create on this stuff. My name's Andy and um, I haven't created some kind of uh, master plan, I'm just really uh, trying to show you some videos that, um, that will help you. So today's video is going to be on Integromat and I'm going to show you how to um, to create a loop from text, if that's interesting to you. Uh, it is something that is always asked of me, so hopefully it's helpful. So let's get right into it. So yeah, as I said, um, we're going to create a loop um, in Integromat. Um, Integromat, in case you don't know, is a tool um, to automate your workflow, which you would expect from an automation channel. And what I'm going to do is just grab a few um, names and a few genders, and we will um, we'll we'll map them together based on a based on a loop. So um, hold tight, and we'll get straight into it. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is, um, if you can see my screen, I hope you can, um, we're going to uh, hop into Airtable. I'm just going to get a, a row, so I'm going to uh, search the records in a row, I'm just going to call it, and, uh, <laughs> the, the base is called YouTube content, because, <laughs> because that's what this is. <laughs> Uh, and now we're going to get some, um, some uh, a value from here, right? So as you can see, We've got a, a value and we've obviously got um, the gender and we've obviously got notes, right? Notes should probably be called name and if I wanted to do that, I'm going to call that names um, and we can run that again. Um, I'm going to call this list of names. You can't see what I'm doing. This is irrelevant to you. Uh, I'm going to run that again and we can then see Great. So we've got the name um, is Lee, um, but then we've got the names and we've obviously got the genders. So what we're going to do is going to use an iterator, right? So if there's two main concepts we're going to cover in today's call, today's call, I'm not on a call with you. This is a YouTube channel. So remember that next time, Andy. Uh, I, we're not on a call so <laughs> on today's video. So we're going to iterate through that and we're going to use um, a comma to split everything up and um, and run something. Um, so we're going to um, cover a couple of concepts. So the first one is going to be iterators. The second one is going to be aggregators. And the third one is going to be um, using an array function. Um, so um, that's what we're going to do. I am going to, first of all, uh, set up um, a, an, like a kind of iterator. Um, as you can see, I'm going to use this as my next module. And we're going to bring in an array, right? But what you can see is we don't have an array to work with. Um, so um, the iterator itself is a type of module that, that needs an array, right? Like, um, it, and it chops it up into a series of bundles or indexes or whatever you want to call them and, and does something to every single object within that array. So for example, um, if we wanted to, to use this array, we don't have one to, to, to work with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this names. Um, so we can see uh, Gilberta Ragborn here. And I'm going to use the text function. And we're going to use a, 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 a kind of function called split. Now, what this does is um, it, it takes a string of... Um, a string of letters and numbers, etc., um, and uh, allows us to create an array from that string, right? So in this case, we've got all of those names, and we want to um, first tell the iterator what um, what string we want to chop up, and then we also then want to add another variable, which is um, the 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 delimiter, right? Which is the thing that splits everything up if that makes sense. So um, I'm going to use a split. And then if you remember before, we had uh, the name in here, right? So we're going to bring in the names. Uh, so we're going to, we're telling the iterator, or we're telling the function really, that we're going to bring in the, the list of names and we're going to separate that by a comma. 
And um, this always seems a bit confusing, and um, if you're familiar with Excel or something like that, this will be a breeze to you. But if you're not, and, and you're struggling to even see what I'm doing here, the thing that you need to remember is everything that I'm doing is, a, is, is in giving instructions to a function, right? And this function, which is called split, takes in two different variables. The first variable is the string on the left-hand side, and the second variable is the comma. And we don't really need to know what it's doing. We just need to know what it does, right? Um, and we don't really need to know why it's doing it or, or why the string comes first and the delimiter comes second. That's just the way it's been coded, and that's just um, something we need to be um, comfortable with. Um, to 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 uh, to make progress. Um, I struggle with this really badly. I want to know how everything works, and um, my old an old boss of mine. Um, he he gave away this he gave this throwaway comment uh, a while back that stuck with me, and it's it's like when you turn on the light switch, you don't really need to know how it works. You just know that it works. So it's very similar to that. Just as, just for the for in the interest of of speed. Um, we can just assume that we put through the first uh, um, the first variable, which is a string, and the second variable, which is the delimiter, and we move on with our merry lives. And um, and as you can see, we're going to do that here, and um, and we're going to uh, run this and see what happens. So what we would expect is we're we're going to get um, this is going to run once, and then this is going to run many 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 times, right? So hopefully, if we run it. Uh, it did not work, which is uh, not what we wanted. Um, but no, yeah, it did work. Right, so you can see here it ran once and it gave us a bunch of different bundles in here um, as well. What we want to do then is aggregate this into a, um, into um, an object that, that we can use in, in future steps. Now, we're not going to do any of those future steps today because that's beyond the scope of, of this video, but we use an array aggregator and this brings everything up and then and then the, the iterator brings everything up and, and splits it out across the different um, items and then the array aggregator brings it all back together and um, so we've got um, a, a, a kind of an array uh, of those items. So when we use the aggregator we choose the source module which is the iterator um, as we can see and then we also want to choose what uh, what we return. So right now we can return the value of the name. So um, it, it basically we're going to split these all up, this, these names um, like this. So these are the names. And then we're going to, um, uh, we're going to then uh, create an array of, of names. So let's do that and see what happens. Okay, great. And you can see it's returned now an array. And if we're going to use that, and I'm going to just set a variable to show you what that looks like, we can see we've got all of these different, uh, we've actually got an array. So we turned a string into an array that we can then use. But, but not only that, we can actually, um, we can begin to see how we might be able to map that into um, a, into combining two sets of strings, right? So for example, um, if we wanted to get the gender, we'll just get all of the genders and uh, we've got here gender queer, female, agender, non-binary. Uh, right, so then we want to grab all of these and we can do something very similar, but actually because um, because we're, we're iterating through, what we can do is get the gender and do a very similar thing. Um, so we want to use the split again. Um, so here we want to use a split and we get the gender and we um, we can use a comma, right? Um, and obviously that's going to break everything out, right? If we run this, we should probably see everybody's going to be, um, everybody's going to be associated with all of those genders, right? Um, search records, uh, why, what's happening? Where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, I used a filter instead of create a variable. Right, so let's create a variable or set a variable. And we're going to set the variable and we're going to call it gender. And in fact, why don't we set multiple variables? That, that, that just um, 
doesn't confuse things. So set multiple variables, and we're going to set the first variable as the name, and that will be uh, the value, right? Which is super simple. And then the second one, we're going to uh, make that gender, and this one will be will split all the genders, right? So we can see what that looks like. What we expect is that every single person is um, is every single gender, um, which. Uh, oh, so we can see that's running through everybody here. So it's running through that a thousand times, running through all my integral uh, scenarios or tasks, limits, that I should probably be aware of. Um, and you can see here that when we return this, oh, it's taking a while. So uh, that's because I just broke um, this all with uh, the memory. So just give me a second. It's freaking out. So let's wait, make sure we save it. Oh no, can we save it? Can we save it? Can we save it? I don't know. Can we save it? This is a song I sing when things break. Uh, it's normally um, got more of a tune to it, but um, this is... Uh, I'm gonna wait. Can we save it? Can we save it? Da 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 da. Can we save it? Um, if you want to do a remix of that, you're welcome. Um, I, I, I'd love that to go to the top of the charts. Uh, oh yes, that's good. Okay, so we're back in here and what we're going to do is um, we split this out by gender um, and I didn't show you the end because my uh, computer crashed. So uh, always remember to save your Integromat scenarios before you uh, run them because they can break. And nobody likes them breaking. But as you can see, this has run through and it's given us a thousand items um, and then it's populated this out. But, but the main thing to note is when we bring out this test variable, in fact, we want to bring back the name and the gender. So we do that here, we can run that. And it's not filtering out um, and that's because I put a filter in there. Why did I do that? Uh, who knows, sometimes I do mad things. Um, so this is going to run, no, why is it not working? Okay, now it looks like it's aggregating the array, it's taking its time, which is nice. So it's bringing all of those items together, it's creating a name and a gender. And like I said before, because I haven't done anything to this, what we'd expect is every single person is associated with every single gender, which is not obviously what we want. We want to make sure that people are, um, are assigned their gender correctly. So that should be much, much easier for Integromat to handle. Okay, look at that. All right, so we've got a test variable and we can see that, G that uh, Gilberta uh, Ragborn has all of the genders, right? And like I said, we want to make sure that, um, that she's um, we, we know what gender she is, right? So in order to do that, we need to get the index of the array, right? The index is just the state, the, 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 uh, the well, the index really, how do I describe index? It's just where we are in the array at this point in the loop. So as you can see, I've taken this, we still want to use this, we still want to split the gender, but we want to actually get, um, so we want to get the uh, item, right? So if we look at this, we actually want to get the, the array um, index. So the, we want to return the value from that index. So let's use that again. So we want to, again, split the gender, but then the delimiter, or this isn't, in this case, this isn't the delimiter, it is the second variable that we're passing through. We actually want to return um, the, 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 the kind of the order um, position that we're in and and then return that gender so hopefully everybody will have been assigned their gender properly um, if I've done this correctly and I hope I have uh, I'm, I'm, I'm tired of doing it <laughs> so let's see hopefully yes look at that so what we did just to recap is um, is we uh, we looked through, we, we split the text here uh, and turned it into an array. And then for every single person, um, we, we again split, we, we created an array of their genders and then we returned the index uh, and we returned the value at the index we're currently at 
and um, we're able to determine everybody's gender. So um, you can see here from, uh, from this, we returned their name and their gender. And then when we set the variable, um, which is called test variable, we can call it gender assignment now. Um, we actually uh, then um, were able to identify that um, Frederica Felipe is female um, and Brandon uh, Tremaine is agender, uh, Donna Sivorn is non-binary, uh, Callian Haydock is male, Florinda Hegarty is female, uh, Leanne Simicek is gender fluid, um, Shona Stores is agender and uh, Leslie Brady is female. So hopefully that all made sense and, and you can see what I've done there. Um, so turning these two text fields uh, so into an array and bringing them both together to make sure we, we uh, were able to determine what gender they are. Thank you so much for um, paying attention and um, I hope that, that uh, you were able to get uh, uh, <laughs> I hope you were able to get something from this, but uh, I hope it was fun and entertaining. I had fun most of the time, except when Integromat crashed all of the time. That was that wasn't very fun. If you uh, you want a link to any of the resources, I can put them. I'll put them in the comments. Um, if you uh, liked it. Please like the video if you want to subscribe, and that would be amazing. And if you uh, if you've got any other ideas for uh, future videos that I can create for you that will be helpful for you on your automation journey, please please comment below and I will um, respond to you or maybe even create a video. Uh, thanks again and uh, speak to you soon. Mm -hmm.